What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears, the very first whiskey review episode of 2023. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the end of the year 2022 Whiskey Bourbon of the Year Blind Series. Looks like had some good viewership on that, so I appreciate it. Hopefully, going to have some really good bottles here in 2023. And this is going to be the very first bottle review for the new year. And I'm doing a bottle from 2022, last year. But I've been waiting and wanting to try this bottle all year long. Today, and in this video, I'm doing Barrel Bourbon Vantage. So if you guys are new here, haven't seen my channel before, I am a huge, huge barrel fan. The original barrel whiskey was actually the bottle that first got me into whiskey collecting back in the day. So really huge fans of theirs. And if you saw the end of the year blinds, Barrel Bourbon Batch 32 actually won it in a close one over the Blood Oath Pact 8. So really excited to try the Vantage today. The Vantage is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Mizunaro, which is a Japanese oak, uh, French and toasted American oak barrels. It's coming in at 114.4 proof, which is 57.2% alcohol by volume. So it is distilled in Indiana, Tennessee, Kentucky, in the USA, I thought that was another state for a second. And Vantage is a bourbon dedicated to the arts of barrel selection and blending. It's a blend of straight bourbons finished in three distinct types of virgin oak that highlight toasted notes and the elegance of the finishing barrels. It's bottled at cast strength so you can experience its true flavor. So, haven't even popped this bottle yet, haven't smelled it at all, we're gonna try it in today's video. Hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe. All right, fresh bottle here. Nor normally I pop them ahead of time, give them time, some time to air out. But this one, as you can see, seal is still there. I haven't even done it yet. If you guys haven't seen the bottles before, I love the barrel bourbon bottles. They stand out on a shelf compared to any other types of bottles. And this one's got the orange label on it. You can see the seagrass has got the blue and the green. The regular barrel bourbons just have kind of the barrel looking labels, but the specialty ones always have the special labels on there. So bottle pop. Okay, pretty good bottle pop there on this one. And as I like to do, I always get the first whip straight out of the bottle. You can smell the wood right out of the gate. Like if you were, if you were walking through like a lumber yard, but a, yumber, a lumber yard that was right next to a candy factory is what that smells like coming out of the bottle. So I'm really excited to try it coming in at 114 proof today. The first whiskey review of 2023. Get some into the Glen Karen glass here and we will be away with today's barrel bourbon review of Vantage. Actually it looks a little bit lighter in the glass that may be a result of being in the different types of oak, especially the Japanese Mizunara oak. Uh, I believe they use that in a bunch of the different sanatory whiskeys. I've got a Hibiki sanatory here, which is a Japanese blend. So you can see that one's a little bit lighter as well. So that may be why the barrel Vantage is a little bit lighter just because it is finished in the Mizunara and French as well as the toasted American oak barrels. Okay, it's actually sweeter than I thought it would be. Definitely got some oak notes in there. I think you can really smell the uh, toasted, the toasted barrel notes in there. It's just layered over top like a toasted marshmallow almost. Got almost a toasted mar marshmallow and orange. That sweetness coming through with, I think, some oranges on the nose. Definitely got some caramel in there as well. Ooh, when I started at the top that time, got the different oaky notes, almost like a... When you start at the top and go to the bottom, oh, the legs are so nice. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but they are very thick. But it's like when you smell it at the top of the Glen, it's almost more of a barrel char in that toasty marshmallow woodiness. And then when you smell down towards the bottom is when I get the orange and the caramel flavor notes on there. So that's really interesting. I'm excited to try this one. We're gonna do it right now. 
Make sure you hit like and subscribe. As I said, let's go. That is good. I can see why Whiskey Advocate had this as, I think they had it number three overall for 2022. So I was a little disappointed when I didn't get this until 2023 because I couldn't put it in my end of the year blinds to go up against the other ones. But well, that first sip was really good. We're gonna have to dive into the actual flavors here now going forward. Definitely got the oakiness in there, but it's not a bitter oakiness at all. It actually hits you with the wood up front and then it kind of melts away into more of a sweetness into, there's definitely some of the orange flavors in there, a little bit of the caramel. What else are we getting? You can definitely taste a little bit of that, that toasted barrel in there coming from the toasted American oak. And you're definitely getting a, a different range of sweetnesses in there. I think you're, the influence of the Japanese Mizunara oak is really present in that different sweetness, but it also helps tame it down and not get into that overly bitter level that you can get into sometimes with the overly oaked uh, whiskeys. It's really good. It doesn't drink like it's 114 at all. It goes down really smooth, just a slight tickle in the throat, but not too bad at all. And it's really interesting because normally when you have these kind of whiskeys, it goes from the sweet and then into the oakiness. But really with this one, I'm getting the woodiness up front and then it's transitioning and leaving you with lingering sweet going back down the tongue. And some floral notes in there as well. I've been trying to pick out what's in the background. There's definitely some floral notes in there as well. I'm not sure if that's a result of uh, the different types of wood. I don't know if I've ever had anything that was finished in French oak before. So I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, what flavor profiles might be different or coming off of there, but there's a little bit of uh, floralness there in the background. Yeah, that time I held it at the front of my mouth and you got the sweetness up front a lot more. There's definitely a lot of citrus. I'm getting mostly orange, maybe some a little bit of tangerine in there as well, but just because it's not full on orange, there's a little bit more almost sourness to it, but sourness to the citrus flavor. So maybe some tangerine in there as well. It's really good. Overall, I cannot complain. What's really nice about this one is every time I sip it, depending on maybe where it hits my tongue or how much I drank, it seems like I get a little bit different and varying flavors every time. So that's really nice. It's, it means it's complex. It's not overly simple. You're not just gonna get, you know, cherry or vanilla or caramel. It's not I'm blasting you with anything. It's giving me a lot of different things to think about every time I take a sip. So really good start to the year, I think for 2023 here on the channel. The question is, where is this going to go on the tier list? And I'm gonna set up the tier list a little bit different this year because I'm planning on doing many more videos, many more bottles. So how I did it last year where I had everything there listed every time, it would get way too jam packed and impossible to do. So I'm gonna show you what this regular tier list looks like. It's S, A, B, C, D, F, and uh, we're gonna go from there and then just put each individual one on its own page for that tier. And for this one, for the 2022 bottle of Barrel Vantage from Barrel Craft Spirits, it's gonna go solidly, solidly in the A tier, very solidly in the A tier. I think just a little bit of, it kind of dissipates a little bit quickly. I was expecting it to stick around a little bit longer. That's actually the reason that the Barrel Bourbon Batch 32 ended up winning was because the flavor stuck around and coated the tongue for so long See, that time I got a lot more woodiness when I drank it, but overall really, really good. If you enjoy the orangey, the woody, uh, some of the toasted flavors in there, you're definitely gonna enjoy this bottle. I think it's definitely worth picking up a bottle yourself. I think it's 80, 90 dollars, somewhere in that range, depending on where you live. But yep, Barrel Bourbon Vantage going on the A tier to start off 2023 for me, but won't be eligible for end of the year blinds even if I remember it by that time next year because this was a 2022 release, but really happy I have it to have it up on the shelf here behind me. So have you guys had this bottle before? Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. It's going solidly in the A tier. I'm gonna drink the rest of this whiskey and go take a nap. Have a great one, everybody.